if you are new to my channel thank you for joining me and if you are already subscribed thank you for coming Stop. back why everyone is here is how to on hair typing i cannot count if i had a penny for every time someone asked me a hair typing question, I'm sure I would have like a dollar and 50 cents, okay? So I'm here to give you the how to, the easy guide on hair typing natural hair. You guys are gonna be like, girl, why didn't you tell me this before? I can't even believe that I've been living my natural life, going through this journey, and I have not known this information. So be prepared, get your pen, get your pad, get your notes, on your phone and get ready okay be prepared so I'm gonna do the most important tip first because you know some people like to ease you in and give you a couple of tips but the real juiciness comes at the end I'm not gonna make y'all wait I'm not gonna make you wait I'm gonna give you the most important tip about hair typing right now and the most important tip please pins thumbs be ready the most important an easiest tip for hair typing is don't do it don't do it we are leaving 2015 ladies and gentlemen we need to stop talking about hair typing hair typing is pointless it's a lie from the black pits of hell okay we get no educational or valuable information from the hair typing chart or the hair typing system Knowing your hair type will not help you choose the right products. Now, I'm about to bust a bubble up in here. Well, another bubble because I'm sure I just busted one. But as a person, now I wear glasses, so I do need an aid when looking at things. I cannot tell your hair type from a picture. I'm sorry. If you send someone a direct message, and this is a pet peeve. Ooh, this is a pet peeve. But if you send a natural hair page a picture or a direct message asking what your hair type 10 times out of 10 we cannot tell from that picture i don't care what the resolution is it could be on god's resolution we cannot tell your hair type and it's not even important what is most important now this is where the pen and paper is going to come in handy what is most important when characterizing or looking for characteristics in your hair what you need to know is your hair porosity and your hair density now I'm not gonna go into hair porosity because there are very eloquently stated videos uh, with scientific explanations pictures diagrams videograms all of those things that are really gonna help you understand what porosity is how you can test your hair for your porosity and product recommendations for what you should use based on what your hair porosity is. That is what is important when it comes to choosing the product. I just wanna ask a quick question. Everyone raise your virtual hands if you can remember when the hair typing system came out. Cause I, I, I'm, I'll wait because I know I can't raise my virtual hand, right? When I was growing up, you either had relaxed hair you had straight hair or you had not straight hair. There was no relaxer box that said 1A straight hair, 2B not straight hair. It was just you had straight hair or you had not straight hair. That was it. And maybe it's me, maybe my world and my box was tiny. So there was no need to categorize it. And that's the same thing with curly hair. There's no reason to be dividing the hair textures or the curl patterns. It's just a way for companies to market to us and make one texture seem more desirable. Andre Walker is the person who is the creator of hair typing and currently on his website, all he has are strands of hair, pictures of strands of hair, and then what one of his products will best work with that hair type. So he's using it currently to sell his own products, whether those products will really work for you or not. So what's important is that you take the time and the energy to really research and figure out what works best for your hair. Do not depend on people like me, on YouTubers, on famous hair gurus or Instagrammers, every one of us who have gotten to where we are now. And we all try to use the disclaimer saying that, hey, I use this product and it worked for me, but it may not work for you. It's because we've spent months looking a hot ratchet mess, okay? We've spent time with broken ends and raggedy hair, and we had to go through lots of trials and tribulations and ups and downs in order to get where we are now. If you ask me what my hair type is 
from this video forward, I'm just going to say healthy and then suggest that you do some research because I want everybody to have healthy hair. I want people to come up to you and be like, girl, yeah, look at your hair, girl. And be like, girl, my hair healthy, you know? That's what I want. That's what I want for everybody. So, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. If I scared you away, I'm so, so sorry. Leave any comments, questions down below. And that's all I have. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.